What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you the best in-game settings for World of Warcraft Shadowlands for low-end PCs and laptops. This should be quite an easy tutorial, everything you need will be listed in the description below. Open up World of Warcraft and navigate to your graphic settings. Here set the display mode to full screen. I have set it to windowed as it's easier to record. Set the window size option to your native monitor resolution. In case you're using an abnormal screen resolution as I am, then feel free to set it to 1920x1080. Set the monitor option to the monitor you wish to use and disable anti-aliasing and vSync. Make sure to set the resolution scale to 100%. In case none of the other tweaks helped you out as much as you wanted, then consider reducing your render scale option to around 90%. This will in any case reduce the visual quality, but your performance will increase in any way. In your base settings, set the texture resolution option to fair or low, depending on your GPU. Spell density to half. Enable projected textures. Set the view distance option to around 7, which is the default value. Below, I suggest setting the environment detail and ground clutter options to 1. In case you have some performance to spare, then feel free to increase these settings later on. On the right side, set the shadow quality to low, liquid detail to fair, disable sun shafts, set the particle density option to low, SSAO to low, disable depth of field, and disable the outline mode. After applying your changes, make sure to enable the Rate and Spatial Ground Settings option. Here, you should reduce these options quite a bit, as these will be applied when in a Rate or Battle Ground. Reduce your Spell Density, Liquid Detail and other effects options before applying your changes. In your Advanced Settings, enable Triple Buffering. Set the Texture Filtering option to 2 times Anisotropic. Disable Ray Trace Shadows. Set the Ambient Occlusion Type to Auto Detect. Disable MSAA. Enable Multi Sample Alpha Test and disable the Post Processing AA and Resample Quality options. Below, make sure to set the Graphics API option to the highest DirectX version you can set it to. In my case, it's DirectX 12. Set the Graphics Card option to your main GPU. And then, on the right side, Make sure to set the max foreground FPS to a value above your screen's refresh rate, but below the maximum FPS you can get. Below, change the brightness, contrast and gamma options to your own preference. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.